can't find my shades. Not sunny, sunny, but I hate being in the daylight when I go to sleep late. Where are my shades? I don't have to drive without shades. Okay, so let's turn on this car and the AC because it's hot in here. What is up, my people? You guys probably wondering what the hell am I doing? No reviews in a while. Reviews here, reviews there. Oh shit, shit. I got my YouTube playing on the background. Yeah, so the AC is gonna stay there because it's hot, 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 hot today. What's up with my reviews? What's up with the one video a week? However, for the hundredth millionth quadrillion time, I'm doing a YouTube makeover. And I'm headed right now to Home Depot to buy some paint because I'm painting my new backdrop. Let's go. I ended up wearing my wife's shades. It was in her car. I could not find mine. So same as mine. It's just this one's black. Mine is colorful. I ended up buying a Philly cheesesteak in front of Home Depot. It is hot. Woo. You know what? I've never bought a Philly cheesesteak from there. I always bought the, the hot dog. So while I was in Home Depot, I was smelling onion. I'm like, why do I smell onion? I smell my shirt. I walk outside is the smell of the Philly cheesesteak. So I decided to uh, buy one and see how it tastes. I've never tasted the Philly cheesesteak from there. I actually haven't ate a Philly cheesesteak in couple years man I don't remember when's the last time I ate a Philly cheesesteak so we're gonna see how it tastes I got my paint got the middle paint they have like the cheap middle and premium the middle one being uh, ultra I believe she he said ultra supposed to be really good and it was only like six dollars seven dollar difference or something like that so I'm like you know what the hell I just go for the middle one I don't need nothing super super expensive but I didn't need also something cheap main light on I rearranged my studio as you can see I got a new tabletop desktop that I'm gonna y'all gonna see further on my stu full YouTube studio slash office slash gaming tour so I moved the desk that I was using prior the one that they sent me the $500 desk and I placed it here as you can see, sorry about the light. You can see, put a little bit darker there. So I put it there, you know, so I was thinking of painting this wall black, but then I don't have nowhere to put this. As you can see, I have no space. So I decided to take off those sound blankets up there and the one on the door, because I'm gonna paint that wall black. And first I'm gonna do the wall, see how it looks. And then I'm gonna do the doors, but I'm gonna leave the borders white. Maybe I'll do some type of um, sky blue on it. I like that, I like the blue, that's my favorite color. And then the plan is to, on the top up there, put some type of LED sign. I don't have that now, that's expensive, that's not in my budget, but that comes at a later time. So that's what I'm gonna do today. Move all this stuff. Um, this table is probably gonna be gone because I'm planning to probably move this somewhere in this corner because this light I am and you hear my daughter crying over there um, this light I'm gonna mount it on the ceiling up there somewhere either on the ceiling or the wall I gotta get the wall mount I'm gonna order that maybe sometime next month and like my that bookcase is gonna probably go over here somewhere this table is gonna be gone most likely my unboxings are gonna be here as you can see I have my top down camera up there to record my unboxing and then this I might move it this way somehow I want to take it out because I want the space but this is so comfortable and when I watch my games or whatever up there I just lay down there relax watch movies whatever you know so that's the plan for today Sunday
I did forget to mention that I got a patch up up there some holes from the sound blanket that I put up there some little holes I'm gonna patch that up Got big ones and the little smally smally one. The edges. And I am an idiot. So this right here has this little thing here that you open. I did not know about this. And there was something where I got this at to mix it. Um there was something that looked like it goes on top of there, but I didn't know what the hell was that and I didn't grab it. So but no biggie, man. That's just extra stuff that whatever. Make it makes it easier, but pop this open. And now this is flat black. Is a ultra flat black by Burr. Burr. They did not have matte black, but flat black, same shit. So I've decided to paint the door black. This time I covered the floor pretty good. The last time I painted in the garage in our, at our old house was uh, un not. I mean, this is not professional, anyways, but. It was very less professional. It was very a lo loco, a lo foque, how we say in Spanish, a lo foque, man. Which means we just did it however it came out. So I did it matte black, flat black, whatever you want to call it. Um, because I like the flat color, the glossies I'm, I've never liked. I mean, not that I never liked, but flat for me looks better, matte black. Let me um raise this up again a little bit so you can see me. Just a little bit. All right, so what I was saying, this is super zoomed in. There we go. So what I was saying is that I chose the flat black because I like the flat look on it, the matte look. Glossy is okay, but with glossy, if you paint it glossy and the lights are gonna be reflecting off of it, the matte black gives it a better, I guess, better look. And I like it better. So the door I'm gonna end up painting also. I gotta tape this up that I didn't. And the trimming, I gotta buy the paint. Um, I'm gonna do it blue. I don't know if I'm gonna paint it or maybe spray paint it. We'll see, cause I do have a spray paint blue that I could test it out. But let's go ahead and start. I'm gonna start from this side because that's drying up there. Time to put back the time lapse. I don't know how this flag got in here. Why didn't you guys stop me when I was painting the door? Oh my God, the door's different. That's the first coat. I know it looks crazy, but um, the door is, I forgot about how difficult the door is to paint. That's how you could tell I'm not a painter. So you see that? It's horrible. I'm waiting for it to dry to see. Give it a second coat. But I remember a long time ago, I painted a door, but I just didn't paint it a different color. I painted it the same color, white. It was in New Jersey. And I think it was before we moved out here. And it took me some time to get it white without seeing all those crazy marks, but I'm gonna wait for it to dry. The sides are looking good. It's just wet spots somewhere. I'm gonna give it a second coat. We'll drink some water. So um, the door I could do with the roller, I just tried it. That's how you could tell I'm not a pro. I used to hate paint, but um. I just painted that right there, this side, with the big roller, not the small roller. The small roller was not coming out good. Big roller, and bam! I already did the second coat on the top, on the sides. We're almost done. Almost to the finish line. So it's basically done. I'm just waiting for it to get dry, completely dry, before I take the tape off. And yeah, this is my backdrop makeover next thing will be some b-roll yeah so that's something that i gotta record but comment like subscribe share all that stuff and boop, 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 boop. Okay, doesn't that wall look much better? So, 
that was my clap, 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 clap. that was my backdrop makeover now stay tuned for the 2022 youtube studio makeover all right catch you guys in the next one which probably will be 2022 youtube makeover